I went out to make a side-by-side -side comparison between the anamorphic and a non-anamorphic standard spherical lens my Zeiss 55 matching some kind of the same focal range in the day and night scenes. A month ago I got the Siri 50mm 1.8 anamorphic 1.33 and I made an in-depth review and also a short cinematic movie and you can check the link in the description if you are interested in this lens and what it's capable of. But I was mostly interested if you will be able to notice the anamorphic footage if I export it in a normal aspect ratio rather than a wider one in night and day scenes. There have been a lot of demand from you guys to make this comparison. So there you have it. I went out and used my Sony a7 III with the Zeiss 55 in APS-C crop mode and the Sony a6400 on the Siri 50mm 1.8 and it's a crop sensor body already. This is not a completely matched focal range because my Zeiss 55 it's a 55 and on APS-C it will go up to around 78mm and the Siri in APS-C crop body mode goes around 75. But when you de-squeeze the footage for 1.33 it will go back to 66mm. Then I was switching back to full frame and APS-C mode to the Zeiss, so to kind of match these two things. Let's not rumble around for these specs, let's go just straight to the footage. Let's go straight to analyze the footage that we saw. The most noticeable difference when using an anamorphic lens rather than a spherical one is the bokeh rendering in the background of your shots. The oval shape rendering will be more visible in night shots where the autofocus background lights will give you that oval shape. The spherical normal lens gives you spherical bokeh. When a direct light source hits your lens, the anamorphic one will give you that characteristic horizontal blue flaring. On a non-anamorphic lens like the Zeiss 55, there is no horizontal flaring. Like the car test lights that you are watching right now. The flaring will be visible even in bright daylight when shooting toward high bright objects. Just like me shooting the sun. When using anamorphic lenses in daylight conditions and cropped in without the original aspect the squeeze ratio, Sometimes you will have a hard time to notice an anamorphic lens because this is an 1.3 anamorphic. For a higher oval blur in the background when 1.88 or 2.0 anamorphic would be more suitable in that case. 
Remember 1.8 and 2.0 anamorphic lenses cost a lot of money. So the point of this is, do you need actually an anamorphic lens? It depends on your type and style of shooting. If you are shooting mostly for a wide-angle screen viewer like TV, cinema, and you will be mostly maintaining the wide aspect ratio, going anamorphic even with a smaller squeeze of 1.33 can make the difference in the look. The lens that I tested was designed for APS-C crop sensor bodies, so know that you will have to work a little more and get closer to the subject to get at oval bokeh shots in the background. If you are shooting mostly for Facebook, square videos, for Instagram or even Instagram stories, I don't see much of a use of this kind of lenses. You will be mostly cropping in, losing the anamorphic wide angle. You will maintain an anamorphic bokeh effect, but remember that shooting anamorphic and then cropping in for a specified format takes a lot of planning. The cost of an anamorphic lens can vary from $600 all the way up to infinity. So the conclusion is really simple. If you want to get a taste of the anamorphic look, I don't see why you should not get a cheaper variant and get that anamorphic feel in your footage. Remember, all the anamorphic lenses, even the cheaper variants are all manual, so follow focus and follow focus pulling is a must for this type of lenses. So what do you think guys, are you ready for anamorphic? My footage explanation and my footage test should make things more clear. If you want to find out more about the Cine Anamorphic, I made the reviews and footage test also in the link in the description. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.